Good afternoon and welcome. It's time to finish this campaign, complete the world conquest as Luxembourg. We have a little bit more than nine months to accomplish it. Well, the truth is that we have more than that, much more, but I want to finish it before the end of 1947. So, we have plenty of equipment. Just look at the amount of equipment that we have available. Pretty insane. So, we have manpower, let's recruit more troops. At least to contain these dudes in Asia. Three divisions. Let's grab ourselves more manpower. Hello Moose TV, good afternoon, welcome. We have our equipment full, completely full of garbage now. Let's allow one day, one hour to pass by. I have to deploy this, this, these airplanes. It's a wonderful thing that we can capture equipment, but man, it can be painful try to find airplanes in the middle of so much stuff that I don't care about. I am Portuguese Moose. I live near Lisbon, Portuguese capital. initiative welcome let's wait one hour get rid of these airplanes so 
How many divisions are we recruiting? Nine, 90. Let's do this a couple more of times. Yes, I can understand the Spanish language, no problem whatsoever. I mean, if uh, sometimes whenever the sp Spanish sp speak very fast, I may have troubles understand trouble understanding some stuff, but for the most part, I'm I'm fine. Okay, let's do this one last time. This should be plenty. I'm not expecting... I'm not expecting these divisions to take over Asia. I already did what I wanted to do in Asia, which was to force the surrender of most of the, if, of the Asian countries, if not all of them. So what I'm expecting to happen is just like in Hearts of Iron 3, where countries that already surrendered will be annexed after the last major is conquered. But this is just to contain them. This will do. So we have 120 divisions, give or take, in training. Let's see what I was doing yesterday. We're about to take one of the last major countries. For some reason, these dudes are major countries. I'm gonna take a chance and I'm gonna defeat the Axis as soon as I can. I'm gonna annex all of these guys as soon as I can. Because there, because there are a shit ton of major countries still left. Argentina is a major country. Newton, the one state country, is a major power. Because he is the leader of the Axis. Sorry, of the Allies. So if I declare war on Argentina, Butan, Brazil, the game won't end. Re even Republic of Peru is a, is a major. So yeah, we need to finish off the Axis. Free American Empire, Free Indian, Ishi France. I already have Marines going over there. Let's give them an objective. Marine one. Press play. So it's gonna be a slow start as usual. I need to make sure this won't fail as as much as I can. Chinese Empire. This guy's already surrendered. All of these dudes have surrendered. So free American Empire, we're taking care of them of them. 
Free India has surrendered, German Reich surrendered, Italy surrendered, Japan surrendered, Mexi Mexican Mexican opposition surrendered, I think, in the previous in the previous stream. Yes. Reorganized nationalist China. Those dudes, okay. Venezuela, they've surrendered. I think Vichy France, we are taking care of it. And we are working towards going after the free American Empire. Awesome. Let's see. How many days? Mariana region. Right there. I thought I had some free fleet. A free fleet. Yes, here they are. Let's tell them to go patrol that. Hello, Granusku. Welcome and tip. Konataya Guna. Welcome. I'm gonna. It's. It's. What do you mean, the, the end of the, the campaign, Tip? It's at the end of 1947 that the game is supposed to end. But if you're at war with three majors, it won't end. And this game loves majors, so pretty much I'm, I'm almost 100% sure we'll have majors. So I've been worried for not, for nothing. Bonato Yoguna is asking, I don't understand how naval invasions work. Do you have to do you have to have total control over the seasons? Yes, it's very derp, derpy. Very mi micromanagement heavy right now. I ended the last stream actually with a rant. I sometimes I cannot I cannot Say anything else, I simply can't. So if you if you want to do a naval invasion, for example, these dudes over here will have to, are gonna go after this province, this island. You look at the path of the convoy, path of the arrow, each sea zone the arrow goes through you have to have naval superiority or else they won't move I, and I even gave an example to illustrate how stupid this is for example the United Kingdom at war with with um, Argentina Argentina invaded the Falklands this is Post World War II scenario, but still, it could happen in World War II. This is a sandbo sandbox game. If Argentina invaded the Falklands, probably the UK would want them back. So, if you launch an invasion from Dover, you need to have a fleet with naval to achieve naval suprem supremacy in the English Channel, as if this was important to go invade the Falklands. But it's currently how the game works. So you can you need to check the convoy, but chances are very high that you'll end up needing to have fleets on the English Channel, the Bay of Biscay, the Western approaches, the Iberian coast, the African coast, maybe Central Atlantic Gap, Cape Verde Plain, 
South Central Atlantic, South Georgia Sea. So, all the way from the, the port of origin till the landing zone. So, all of these places. My proposal is that the naval supremacy should be only needed at the place where the, the troops are landing. That's where it makes sense. Anyway. That's how it works. So you need to pick a fleet. Press the Z key or this button here. And you can assign the fleet to three adjacent uh, to three adjacent uh, sea zones. Wanatai Giaguna is saying that's amazingly annoying. Yes, I agree. Very micro intensive for no good reason whatsoever. Anyway, I already spoke talk, and talked about it. Right now, I'm trying to finish this before the end of 1948. Um, where I was I? I was checking the marines I guess. The fleets to see if I had naval supremacy. We now have naval supremacy over the Mariana, Mariana's Cap? Mariana region? I have a smaller fleet probably going to Europe. Or at least I wanted to go to Europe. Yes, that's where it is going. Good. Launch an invasion of Iceland. Alright. So what's next? <clears throat> oh, I remember. I need to... Yesterday after ending the stream, I thought about what I was going to do next a little bit more. And I thought about templates. This, this is great, but we lack one very important thing, which is breakthrough. We need to add tanks to this. So let's replace one uh, heavy self-propelled artillery by a modern tank. It's gonna add plus 80 breakthrough. We are gonna lose soft attack. Plenty of soft attack actually, but this will allow the division to stay more time in combat, not losing organization as fast. Due to having to having 115 breakthrough instead of 35. So yeah, let's change this. Modern armor. Okay. Let's build some more tanks. Am I am I still using the heavy self-propelled artillery equipment in some template? I doubt it very much. Yes, I am. Um, but I was building modern self-propelled artillery too. Yes, but I barely have it. Let's keep the other one for now. Yeah, Tip is saying it's because they didn't design transports as actual ships. These strange requirements 
are made regarding invasion. Yes, but for a game that was supposed to reduce the micro, they actually did the opposite and increased the micro across the boards. Only people that didn't know how, how never played Hearts of Iron 3 or didn't know how to use the AI back then think this is less micro intensive. It isn't. The Air Force is much more micro intensive. The Navy is more micro intensive. Everything is more micro intensive in this game. Literal, uh, literally everything. With the exception of maybe putting the divisions in place for an attack, where we can, if that's if we, that's if a big if we can click a front. And uh, for example, if I want to send the divisions to this front with one click, I think I can do it. Because this is an entire, this is all axes. But if it was axes and allies and someone else, it's it's a pain in the ass to actually send the troops to the to the front lines. Anyway, I'm I'm digressing. I've I talked about that a lot before. Now I want to finish this. Let's see if we can do it. I'm gonna use nukes as tactical weapons. Sometimes they do... They do... Hurt the organization and strength of the divisions. So if I find some... Very tough place to, to break through with my land forces, I'm gonna simply nuke it. This Miranda, we need this airbase, so let's find it in the middle of all this crap. Because we can't even organize this in alphabetical order. So good luck trying to find someone, something here. This reminds me the convoy is trying to make a convoy in Hearts of Iron 3 where there was basically no organization. Yay, we found out about the um, airfield. Wonderful. Okay, let's go. Let's unpause. Just, uh, yeah. Let's unpause. Kind of. I need paratroopers. Where are they? Guys are gonna take forever. These paratroopers are needed in Central America. In South America, I mean, <clears throat> they are still gonna take forever, but let's send them over there. Hello, super soup com crafter. Um, how many nukes do you build in a day? I build one nuke every four days or so. Four and a half days. Which reminds me that I don't need more nuclear reactors. So let's Put them all at the bottom of the queue, with exception the one of the ones that are about to finish.
What we need now is to repair the damage stuff, like airfields. Repair them as we mo move along. Be able to use nukes and paratroopers. Soon we lose the war goal against Ecuador, Peru. We'll just make another one. These guys are not moving. Super Comcraft is amazed at my nuclear bomb capabilities. Yeah, that was part of my plan. I I I I predicted it some um, I don't know many streams ago where I said that I would eventually build a nuke every day or every other day, and I would if I kept building. I kept building more nuclear reactors, but more accurately, I said that it I was gonna build them every four days at the worst, and that's what's happening now. Okay, another country. This this priority of the uh, army should change, you know. We have 17 divisions near the border. What's the priority of the AI right now? To distribute them instead of attacking. The priority priority should go to freaking attack. Just attack. Just like in Hearts of Iron 3. Attack! Ugh. Okay, we need more spearheads. South America. Let's remove these six dudes, create a new headquarter, spend um, an arm in, and a leg in a new general, build marshal actually, I don't see a point of using anything le Smaller than a field marshal. Do I have 